Lil. That's nice to meet you. Hello, Lil. My mother was called Lil. Really? Of <coughs> course, she called Lily. Mm -hmm. Everyone called her Lil. Yeah. My real name is Lydia, but my name is Lydia. He would be interested to know. Okay, Lil. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Well, I just wanted to know what was some of the best parts about being on Doctor Who for you. I know that you were able to be one of the characters, and then you got the call back to actually be Doctor Who, and what kind of that experience was like for you. The best experience was it was a darn good job. I'm a, an actor, and I you know, go where I'm paid to go, and this was one of the, the good gigs, as it were. And, you know, for three years I was about the only man in Britain who could talk to children in the street without people getting worried about what was going on. Um, and I could, you know, if a child was crying, I could say, don't worry, it's the doctor, and they'd be fine. It was lovely. Mm -hmm. It was like being Santa Claus for three years. Did you get a lot of experiences like that, where you had the opportunity to meet fans on the street who recognized you, or children who recognized you? Oh yeah, you I mean for those three years I was doing it in Britain, mm -hmm. I mean everybody recognized me in the street. It was, um, it was a curse and a blessing, mm -hmm. you know, because it, it is quite nice to have people acknowledge what you're doing. But on the other hand, you know, if you're out with your family and you're trying to do some shopping and everybody's stopping you, mm -hmm. it can be a little bit uh, intrusive, mm -hmm. but people in the main are pretty good. But it, but it was it was nice because unlike I've played in the past villains in things and you get a mixture of reactions. Some people take it too seriously, but when you're playing the good guy, people like you. Mm -hmm. It's quite nice being randomly liked. Yeah. Um, how long after Doctor Who ended did that kind of like start to fade away? Was it? Oh, it it, it was a gradual process over mm -hmm. years. And yeah, I mean I still get recognised, obviously. Yeah. And in Britain, I've just done a very popular program over there called um, I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here which stranded me in the Australian bush for three weeks oh my goodness. and they filmed a group of us coping mm -hmm. and that's the shtick of the program mm -hmm. uh, but as a result of which people who didn't recognize this face mm -hmm. as the one who played Doctor Who 30 years ago now do mm -hmm. so I'm getting more Doctor Who recognitions as a result of doing a reality TV show mm -hmm. than I have for ages yeah now with Doctor Who reaching 50 years is that you know, hard for you to imagine. I know you mentioned yesterday in your panel that you saw the very first episode when it aired. And what's that like being a part of science fiction well, history? Basically? It's almost unthinkable, isn't it, that any television program would last 50 years? Mm -hmm. um, I think there's only two in Britain that have one's Coronation Street, mm -hmm. and the other one is Doctor Who, which, which well, it hasn't reached it yet. You never know what's going to happen well, let's between hope. now and November. Yeah. But I think they've recorded the final show, so mm -hmm. presumably it will reach its 50th. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it, it's a tribute to the people who made the program way back in, uh, in in the day when someone came up with that idea, and it's got legs, and it's with a brief interim in the middle, so it's not 50 continuous years, but it is 50 years since the first one. I suppose you could have a program that did one episode 50 years ago, and the second episode this year, and you could say it's lasted 50 years. So there is a slight difference there. Yeah. But it has pretty much lasted 50 years. Well, thank you so much for talking to me today. I A really great pleasure. Nice, nice talking to girls in geek. Yes, I love Doctor Who. And it's the girls who be waited. Yes. Sorry. Nice talking to the girls who waited. <laughs> what were you waiting you. for? Well, there was an episode of the new series called The Girl Who Waited, um, and it was about Amy Pond. Oh, yeah. And geek. Yes, I love Doctor Who. And it's the girls who be waited. Be yes. Sorry. Nice talking to the girls who waited. <laughs> what were you waiting you. for? Well, there was an episode of the new series called The Girl Who Waited, um, and it was about Amy Pond. Oh, yes. And so since there's yes. two of us who do the show, we called it The Girls Who Waited. So, like, okay. we're waiting for our, our Doctor Who. That's fair enough. <laughs> well, now you've met him. Yes, I have, and I'm very, quite excited, so I appreciate it. Thank you, Lil.